Breaking news on Turkish REITs KKDIC. The first deadline is expected to be extended by three years. In this Chemcom Conferences news flash, Sally Unlo from Henkel provides an update on this important KKDIC time change. Sally, thanks for making time for us. Hello, Chiant. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here today. At the end of October in Vienna, we discussed whether there would be any chance for additional time, and you responded, you do not know. But do you know now? It's correct that back then I responded so because I didn't know back then because it was not official. And uh, we also discussed that uh, we have a saying in Turkish that the uh, text fly and uh, writing remains. As of uh, 14th of November 2023, uh, we received a written draft regulation uh, for uh, the public consultation from the Ministry of Environment, Urbanization and Climate Change through industry associations. Therefore, I'm very happy and confident that now we have a written uh, text regarding the possible deadlines, postponement, and the answer is yes, it is now more concrete and uh, more realistic to receive additional timelines for the KKDIC registrations. Can you elaborate more on these expected deadlines? Sure, I think I can do and I am happy to do so. Uh, so according to the draft regulation uh, amending the KKDIC regulation circulated by the Ministry, there will be three different uh, deadlines for three different tonnage bands. Uh, the first one uh, will be the end of 2026 for the substances that are uh, manufactured on their own or in mixtures or in articles uh, with an intentional release and that are also important with, imported with it, within the same tonnage band uh, that is uh, 1,000 ton, 1, tons or more or substances uh, with an annual manufacture or import volume of 100 or more with an acute, aquatic acute category 1 and aquatic chronic category 1 hazard classification according to the Turkish CLP regulation. And by the way, the Turkish CLP regulation is also an implemented EU regulation harmonized from the EU CLP regulation. And lastly, uh, substances uh, one tons uh, uh, with one ton uh, manufacture or import or more per year with uh, carcinogenic, mutagenic and toxic for reproduction category 1A and 1B again according to the Turkish CLP regulation. Then comes the next tonnage band which will end uh, according to the draft uh, at the end of 2028. This is for the substances 100 uh, tons or more per year and the last tonnage uh, band will be uh, the 31st of December 2030 for the substances, one ton or more. Not only the tonnages uh, or the registration related uh, deadlines are covered within this uh, draft regulation, but also authorization related timelines that are affected by the shift of the registration deadlines are also addressed within the scope of the draft regulation. That is a substantial extension. What are your thoughts about these developments? As said, uh, on the bright side, it is really very reassuring uh, to uh, know that the Ministry has uh, recognized and heard our, our uh, concerns. Um, but also while maintaining the highest standards uh, to protect the public health and the environment. With this, I uh, want to uh, um, rephrase what I have already told in our uh, last uh, interview that I trust that both the industry and the competent authority will keep making the maximum efforts towards uh, better and higher quality registration dossiers and uh, smoother ticketed compliance. I trust the ministry will make maximum efforts, but what about industry? Do you have any insights on this? I think I do, uh, even if the development is really very new for us, of course we have already thought about it. And one thing very important for me today to uh, tell that um, 
Um, this is an extensive um, postponement, let's, let's say, and uh, with this I, I would like to highlight the importance that this development should not uh, really put the industry on a lean back position and uh, uh, wait. So we, we need to keep working because we have a lot to do. And uh, maybe it's also important here to tell uh, that this type of uh, developments uh, will not come, come across so frequently. So this is a chance for us, it is an opportunity and we better be wise about it. Other than this, I think we can also consider the uh, possibility of, a, let's say, an institutional uh, memory uh, or a corporate memory. So we need to maintain that the corporate memory with respect to the Kikidik and the teams that are established for this compliance purpose uh, should be maintained within this uh, extensive uh, timeline. Anything industry can do in this kind of consultation period? Now it is time for the industry to provide opinions on the draft regulation and monitor the developments and monitor for the actual publishing of the regulation, amendment regulation in the official gazette. Well, it should uh, be ha happening technically within this year before, uh, actually before the 31st of December 2023. So we are waiting for this now and it will be welcomed or received as a very generous New Year's gift. A great present for industry. Sally, thank you very much for your comprehensive update. Thank you, Tiert. It's my pleasure uh, to, to, to contribute uh, to this topic and hope to see you the next time. More on Kekedik and Turkey at Chemcon Asia 2024 in June in Bangkok. In the meantime, I agree that industry should not linger and really keep preparing for KKDIC. So I recommend all stakeholders to watch the useful lessons learned on how industry can prepare for the KKDIC registrations in the interview I had with Sally at Chemcon Europe 2023 in Vienna.